Okay, folks, I patched them all up. Now, I know it looks kind of rough, but I'm going to let this dry for a while. And then what you want to do is you don't want to cut it off as much as you want to maybe lightly sand it with a little sanding block. Okay, um, it can work out really well and really easy to, to do it. And if it doesn't look right, put another little coat over top of it. And make it just a tad thinner, okay, and then smooth it out over top. I did his face. I did underneath his arms a little bit. So uh, he'll be all patched up by the time we're done here. And, uh, and we'll keep carving him uh, in a little bit here. We'll finish up his feet. And, um, you know, uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we start that whole uh, uh, continue on with the series. Okay, folks, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. And, um, you know, and one other thing is you want to get a little plastic bag you can store some of the... Um, the uh, sawdust from your bandsaw, you know, so and have it on your workbench. So if you need to use it again sometime in the future, you you have a little bit there for you to uh, that you just scoop out with a spoon, like I did here on a plate. And you don't want to use a paper plate, okay? You don't want to use a paper plate. Use a, a glass plate or a ceramic plate. Um, I find that uh, the the uh, glue will soak into the uh, the paper plate. Okay, so um, I guess the lesson to be learned here is not to over soak these puppies and and to um, try not to um, you know, try not to overdo it and, and have... Uh, the, the one thing I wanted to explain and I kind of forgot before, <clears throat> when I have a plank, okay, let me find one here. Hang, bear with me here for a second got to share this with you on, on the other segments. When I cut a piece out, say if this was wider, I usually don't lean my my pattern right up against the edge unless it's the bottom part of the carving. Because this carving was sideways, I had it pretty well fairly close to the very end of the plank. I find that, and it's true with the with the angel and with this that I didn't I did both of these near the end cap of of the plank it shouldn't make any difference but when I did my baby chicks most of them were an inch or more over and they were all out of the center of this plank okay the middle portion not all the way to the edge I'm just doing that as an ob observation I'm not saying that's the total reason why things happen the way they do, but I find that if you're doing your Santas, you know, you usually can set them up right, then it's okay to use the bottom. I've had things split a little bit on the bottom, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, but if you're up further, I would have the head up in this area um, versus putting the head down here and the feet over here. Okay, just my way of, of doing things. So, folks, I hope that's been helpful. Do it from the middle of the plank if you can and work your way to the edges. Um, uh, and t just take your time with it. We'll, we'll get him all fixed up and ready to go um, here in a little bit. And uh, we'll continue on and then we'll get into the painting portion and all that good stuff. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.